Hello there. Welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome to this new podcast. Yet to be named. Yeah, we haven't found a name yet, have we? We haven't. Um, but we will. We will find a name in the next 20 minutes at least. Yeah. We've got some good suggestions from Twitter. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> okay, so Phil, why did you want to start a podcast? Um I've been listening to many podcasts um the last years and I thought um you know you've done the YouTube thing, the vlogging. How did that go? Um it went well for the beginning, but it took a lot of time, I have to say. Um you know, when you're training hard, as you know. I know when you're training hard. Yeah. Um it takes a lot of time away from you and uh I just didn't have the energy anymore to actually film every single bit in our day and how many hours you know, a day were you going into the edit? I honestly think like it was probably two hours, two no, or three uh, hours a day. When I did it, it was more than that. I think it was quite a lot sometimes. I think uh, yeah, the beginning it was like three, four hours, but then when you got better at it, it was around two hours probably. So we're hoping this is going to be less work, is what we're trying to say. Yeah, I, en I enjoyed the vlogging, but. Um, I just took too much time for me to be honest, and uh, and you're a very busy man. After I went from man one to man two, I, uh, I was getting very. We'll tired. get to that later. I it's was been getting very, very tired. There's been a lot of news since the vlog stopped. A lot of of news, yeah. Probably too much to cover in one episode. Oh yeah, we have loads of time. Hopefully, there will be more than <laughs> twelve vlogs or whatever we do. Hopefully, it'll be more more than just one episode of yeah. this of this podcast. Yeah. Um, we're going to get some better equipment as well, so we're going to get some muffs for the mics. Yeah, so you don't hear us breathing into the mic. Um, better quality, hopefully. No, you wanted to go foam, not muff. Foam. Foam, yeah. Yeah, but I don't. I think muff would be better for getting rid of the... <sighs> I don't think so. I think it's it's better for wind noises, but... Um, yeah, what do you think this noise is? It's wind. A foam will be much better quality for being inside. But there's already foam in this mic. More foam is better. More foam, okay. Right, well. So, yeah. Uh, so, Phil decided that he needed to start a podcast. Um, you're a big fan of podcasts. Massive fan of podcasts. It's what I listen to every drive into the velodrome. Um, when I go see my girlfriend, Avan Kalai, I listen to it all the time. And uh, I thought it's time for me to start a podcast. What are your favorite podcasts out there? <laughs> um, many. Yeah. Mostly Joe Rogan, to be totally honest with you. Okay. Why? I just think it's very interesting. You've got s loads of many very interesting people on. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, it's very informative. So you know when you came into the track every day, when I was still a cyclist, you used to come up with various theories like, you know, is the earth flat? Does <laughs> I've it, it, never did, did said that. I've never said that. Yeah, was the moon landing real? I've asked you. Do you think it's real? Yeah. So all this content, it, it kind of I I feel it mainly came from podcasts. It does, yeah. Because I don't read many books. To be totally honest, well, I don't with listen you. to many podcasts, but it doesn't mean I come out with that kind of stuff. I listen to one podcast a day. Do you think the moon landing happened? Yeah. That's not what you said last week. <laughs> last week you just make it up for the podcast now stop stop it <laughs> stop it what were the other things what were the other things i don't know there's all kind of theories like what i don't know basically every conspiracy theory going you no, jumped i just on. told you what he said on the podcast like what he discussed anyways anyways anyway so yeah, yeah. so basically phil phil needs to branch out you've been too focused on on one thing in your life and now that's why you've decided to start podcasting that's it, yeah. Too focused on cycling. I'm incredibly busy, so all the content and everything you see here has been done by Phil, and I've literally just come in one minute ago to host this, <laughs> to help You're you on very, your way. Very busy, biz, big business man. I am, I am. I'm no longer cycling, but I am very busy. Very, very busy. Very busy. Um, so hopefully this is a success. I hope so. Um, I hope people enjoy the inside of, you know, what, the track cyclist and the big business man. <laughs> man over no, here. I think you need to explain that in joke before because it doesn't make any sense. You explain it. Okay, so the in joke is that um a lot of cyclists often ask each other what they're gonna do after cycling. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh 
I don't have a clue what I want to do after cycling, so... Yeah, well, like, Kian Amadi, he's, his grandparents worked for NASA, he studies, you know, he's got a degree in maths. You know, he's he's going to find something to do. He's terrible at maths, but, yeah. He's terrible at mental maths, but I think he gets the logic of it. But anyway, so, we asked Phil, Phil, what are you going to do when you retire? And he said, don't worry about me, I will be a big businessman. And then I said... Of what? Of which he said, big business. Yeah, that's true. And uh, <laughs> you asked me for a job straight away. <laughs> and then that's the other running joke is that me and Kian will have to ask you for a job. Yeah, I will employ you. Will you? My I'm plan My will, plan yeah. is to get employed by you into your company and then slowly infiltrate the company until I take it over from you. We'll see what happens. What are you going to sell? What, what is your big business plan? What are you going to sell? I will be a big businessman of some sort. <laughs> but that doesn't mean anything. There's lots of just, just, just trust me. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Like, what do you want to sell? Like, now, now, to be totally honest with you, you want to sell like coffee. To be totally things? honest with you, after cycling, I just want to find something that makes me happy. I enjoy, and you know, you know, when I go to work, I just want to be happy and just like want to be there instead of just be a big business man, but not be very happy about with what I do. So you're happy what you're doing right now? I'm happy with what I do right now, yeah. So you just want to continue something like that? So I want to find something that makes me as happy as being a cyclist, yeah. So it's no longer a big businessman? Well, we see, don't we? I guess so. I mean, yeah. Kian and I will need jobs, so. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so let's talk about more about what this podcast is going to be. We haven't really spoken about it yet, have we? <laughs> it's going to give an insight into all areas of social and athletic life. Yeah, um, it's going to be groundbreaking. Hopefully, we'll, yeah. Hopefully, we we'll get to know what what to do in my training. I'm the only one that's still doing cycling here, so you're retired. But you can yeah, say but what do you mean? About, there's yeah. the only one. There's there's two people here, and also I'm just as qualified a coach as you are. Are you? Yeah. After I'm doing my PT at the moment. What are you doing? I thought you finished your PT. Not yet. No. <laughs> but you told me you'd finished this. <laughs> that's a that's a major. No, no, no. Life. I haven't finished my level three yet. Oh, right, level okay. Three cycling british cycling all right well i've got my level Country. two i've got my level two and i've got my Derny license as well you got your Derny license yeah you well, yeah, I remember you that. Took, yeah you took you took a video of it that. um so yeah we're going to try and get different guests on each week yeah different guests um, i'm going to call on my network you're going to call on yours yes we were who have we got confirmed so far ed clancy ed clancy edward is clancy obe um, OBE. He was keen to come on after he's back from his Portugal training camp. When um, does that finish? I don't know why they've gone to Portugal. It's raining. I know. Like it's here in Manchester. Year right now. I mean, this is going to go out in a couple of weeks. But anyway, at the moment, it's beautiful sunshine. We we just had a lovely afternoon. Yeah. I'm just going to have a sip of my apple juice here right now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they love to go to Portugal. So, I think it's it's like a two-hour flight to Lisbon. And then it's a two-hour drive from Lisbon to the hotel. I think it's a very, very long travel day for them. It's a very but long travel day. they get really good training in. But they said no to Mallorca. Said no to Valencia. They said no to Girona. And they said, we're going to go to Portugal. No, it's up to them. <laughs> it's not up to me. <laughs> <laughs> the middle of Portugal, exactly in between anyways, Lisbon anyways. and Porto. Okay, so we've got Ed Clancy confirmed. Ed Clancy's confirmed. Sir Chris Hoy wants Sir Chris to come Hoy. on the podcast. Well, yeah, hopefully he does come on. Hopefully. I think I think he will. I think after he sees this episode, he'll be so impressed. I think he will. Um, he'll have to come on. We've got many more guests lined up. I've actually um, I've actually confirmed uh, Ollie and Alice. Have you? Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ollie yeah. and Alice. Yeah. Ollie and Alice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fair play. Uh, Alice Barnes. And Ollie. Wood. Wood. Yeah. Wood. Um, They're very cycling successful couple. cyclists. Successful cycling couple. But we're also going to branch out. We're going to try and find some non-cyclists. Like? Joe Clark. Like who? Joe Clark. He likes to canoe. <laughs> we haven't spoken to him yet, so <laughs> <laughs> hopefully uh, He's coming on. he wants to come on. And then we're going to, you know, we'll try and break into the, like all, you know, everything. Everything. Ac hopefully. Ac Elon Musk. Academia. Um, entertainment. Acting. Singing. Anything. Yeah. Anything that's out there. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. Anyway. This podcast has got potential. Said who? Me. Okay. 
Well, you listen to a lot, so I, I haven't listened to a single pod. I've listened to maybe a couple podcasts. I don't know why. I don't know why you stay interested. Like, who wants to listen to two blokes just talking rubbish the whole time? I don't know. It's like it's like watching YouTube videos. Who wants to watch people traveling oh, when around we did the, the vlogs? I've never really watched vlogs either, but you love them. I love them. Yeah, it's it's the future. Children watch them all the time. Loads of people watch them all the time. That's that's the new TV. TV is dying out. YouTube is becoming popular. Well, sometimes it's not. Sometimes TV isn't dying out. I you still got a skybox in there. Just to get TV. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> that's, that's I, that's my point. Uh, no, no, YouTube is the future. YouTube is the future. Podcasts are the future. We've got some sponsors lined up as well. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> many uh, sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I've picked the uh, I've picked the sponsor for the first episode. What um, was the sponsor? Well, we thought the idea would be is to pick each of our re- retrospective um kind of least successful slash most embarrassing sponsorship deals that we've ever done so um you tune in for next week but next week phil is going to be the episode is going to be sponsored by by uh a, a fitness. i don't think you could mention the brand yet why i don't want to get sued <laughs> not gonna get sued no. okay so it's a functional climbing static machine which you once in, once endorsed on twitter which is a climbing machine it, the first bit of the the first bit rhymes with axi and okay. the second bit rhymes with schmeider <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> well how else would you describe i think you it? got it completely wrong you just how can you describe the name without describe the name for me then axi rider axi rider okay yeah 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 that's close enough yeah so in the next episode, we're going to have it in the background and Phil's going to try it out for us. I will show you the best, the best exercise you could do. Our, our gym coach, who I won't mention by name in case he has a future sponsorship deal with this company called um, Schmartin. <laughs> Kevin's. Ansi. <laughs> <laughs> and Kevin's. Kevin's. Schmartin Kevin's. <laughs> who now works for the FA. Um... Rest in peace. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he next time he uh, so he he said it, it had no functional use for cycling at all. I think he was just so disappointed in me promoting this machine. Okay, well, it, it's for something for next week. It's something for next week. And let's then what have you picked for it. me is the most embarrassing thing I've ever fronted up. <laughs> um, well, you were embarrassed by sport your trainers. Yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. Yeah. I can't remember what the campaign was for. I think it was for the Glasgow 2014 games, and the idea was to sport your trainers at work, at school, at work. Well, you were pretty embarrassed by the video. Well, made. it was, because the video wasn't that good. Yeah. But I enjoyed it. Yeah. It's something for next week again. Is that what you're going to pick? Or have you not decided yet? I haven't decided yet. I think you've done many embarrassing things. You know on that cooking show you did on YouTube? Yeah, what yeah, What was yeah. that for? That was for Scottish pork. Yeah, it's pretty close to be totally honest with you. <laughs> I mean, there's some great recipe ideas in there. <laughs> Very good. Anyways, let's let's carry on. Okay, <laughs> let's let's push on through. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go through a name, and we had some many suggestions on Twitter. Many suggestions. So we still we still haven't come up with a name for this podcast. I've got my favorite in mind. Have you got yours? No. What Not was yet. that? What was that? Clancy's suggestion. Ed Clancy's suggestion was. The inside track, which I quite liked, but we want something people want to click on, people want to listen to, people you know want all to be about interested. Clickbait. That's like your vlog clickbait. when you said uh, featuring Bradley Wiggins, and he was in there you for know. literally one second. <laughs> you know what? It got like fifty thousand views, so it worked, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> okay, so Kian Amari says two disgraces ruining a podcast. Very negative. Yeah, Kian Amari is. Uh, He's just a jealous person, isn't he? He is jealous. I mean, that's why he's never going to be a guest on this podcast. <laughs> Charlie Tanfield, you're a new housemate. He is, yeah. Don't know where he is in Portugal, actually. Who replaced your previous housemate of... Andrew Tennant. Yeah. He might pop in at any moment, actually. He could actually come in any time. Uh, so, Charlie Tanfield says, uh, The Shell Show. The Shell Show. So I've, sh- been a, I've been a show for the last six months. A lot. So shell, shell. So it actually makes sense, yeah. To explain the lingo again, uh, shell basically just means that you are you're very tired. You're a shell of a man. It's when you're very tired, 
and you're just like a shell on the beach, just lying there. I mean, thanks for offering that additional insight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Liz Miller, she's a big fan of us. She's a very big fan of... She comments on everyone's stuff. British cycling... Sky British cyclists. cyclists. Sky cyclists. British cyclists in general. She wants to call it Devil Takes the Hines. Philip Hines. Most. No, that's a play on track. That's, that's a play on track I know, I know, I know, yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, so that's in the maybe pile? It's a maybe, yeah. Okay, Owen Duell, who's also going to be in this podcast at some point, suggests uh, two guys, one podcast. Hey, you know... I don't think that's very family friendly. No, <laughs> no, I, I know what he's playing at. We all know what he's playing at, but <laughs> if you don't, Google it. Yeah, if you. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. know what he's playing at, but we'll see. I don't know what we're on about. <laughs> uh, Hannah Dines had an absolute stormer, so I'm going to give you a couple of these in quick fire. Go on then. Spoke and Millers. Interesting. Wheel talk, which I'm a fan of. That's my favorite, actually. Wheel talk. Wheel talk, yeah. Because it leaves us open. Like We don't just have to talk about Flanders, Tour de France, you know, Cop Bus Grand Prix. Yeah. We can talk about anything. That's 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 right, yeah. That's the beauty of the name. Uh, let's get... <laughs> yeah. Let's get behind the wheel. No, sorry. Let's get... Let's get wheel. Let's get wheel. Like, let's, let's get wheel. Oh. Hmm... Bit bit cheesy, isn't it? Bikes and banter. Yeah, <laughs> um, not my favourite. To be honest with you. Yeah, go no, okay. Uh, pedals and patter. Patter is a Scottish word, which also means banter. Scottish patter. It's a it's a Facebook group, isn't it? With funny videos. Yeah, yeah, but patter means banter in Scottish. Ah, oh. I'm not Scottish at all. No, so I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me figure that. Okay, so uh, wheels, words, and wisdom. No. Where's the wisdom coming from? What's she thinking? I don't think there would be any wisdom here. Why are you whispering into the microphone? <laughs> Am I? Yeah. I think <laughs> you've got it like <laughs> bustling that, 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 that really... You, you were the that, technician. You were the audio you, technician. You've got, you got a bustling on that adolescent's moustache there. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Velo drone. Oh, we don't have a drone anymore. Wait, you sold it. I did, yeah. So that's an update from the um, vlog. Sold the drone. Sold a drone. Only lost a couple hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> After you've crashed it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't crash it. El- Eleanor. Yeah, she crashed it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's up? As in spelled W-A-T-T? Mm, as in no. Too keen for you? No. Okay. Uh, chopper chat. Well, again, chopper is another term in cycling. What does chopper mean, Phil? It means whopper, which means... Not very good. Not very scared. Good, yeah. Just like a whopper, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, pod clash. No, that was my favorite. Pod clash. Yeah. <laughs> because it doesn't take itself too seriously. Yeah, that's true. And if you make a mistake every now and again, then that's okay. Yeah, that's true. You have to push the limits. So is this in your favorites? That's my in favorite. one of your favorites. No, pod clash is my favorite. What was the was the other favorite? You just <laughs> said you had a favorite. Before. My other favorite was wheel chat. Wheel chat. Yeah. I um, like wheel chat. To be fair. You were gonna go for but, wheel um, chat. I was. To be fair. I like the inside track, but it doesn't sound very interesting. So, nah, that's out the window. I think so, Podcast really grabs people's attention. That could be it, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, and we've also got a Scot and a German walk into a handlebar. I think <laughs> it's a bit too long. We need a clickbaity title. So. You're always getting away from the German element as well. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. I'm British. <laughs> <laughs> the breakaway. The breakaway. I've been, not been in many breakaways in my no, life. Been to in be totally breakaways, you. Actually. Uh, all the gear is no idea. That is actually quite true. We've got all the gear here. No, but I know about my gear. You don't know about your gear. I've asked you, like, remember that video we did in the, on the vlog? And it was like, <laughs> what tires are you riding? And you're like, oh. I just get, I just ride what I get given, to be totally honest with you. I'm not that bothered. It's all about the gear. podcast these days, isn't it? All about the podcast, not about the gear. Uh, the standing start. No. Uh, fill them up. I quite like that. Say again. Fill them up. Um. <laughs> again, mm. it's got connotations to it, isn't it? It means fill him up. No, like fill him up. Fill him up. No. 
You don't want that. I don't like it, no. Okay, sorry. Uh, board talk, as in the boards in the track? No, because it, it seems more like a negative. Board. Because I just hear board. I'm bored. Velomon? Velomon. I quite like the Velomon, to be totally honest with you. It kind of gives the impression we're not going to be very positive about cycling. Yeah, that's true. And you just said literally a minute ago you're having the time of your life, so... I'm having the time of my life, so... No. <laughs> you have to speak into the mic. If you turn away, it doesn't work. Okay, it's my first podcast. I don't know what you're I'm doing. You're still bristling that little mustache on that <laughs> thing. I can I hear it in my what. ears. I don't, I don't like it. It's like that thing we did. Er What's that thing called? I don't know. No, that thing where like a cat eats a bowl out of... Like, you know. Oh, ASMR. Oh, I hate that. You don't like that. <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> We've just lost everyone. That's it. If he hadn't given up by now, he'd given sorry, up now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's, um, let's stop going through the names. Let's, let's no, no. Let's I think we, we got one more. We got Bad Wheel and Skinner. Two's up. Riding in circles. On the track with Phil and Callum. All the gear, no idea. The thighs have it. Velopod. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go for Clash Pod, was it? Was that the one? Pod Crash. Pod Crash. Yeah. Pod Let's Crash. Do Let's do that. Pod Crash. Callum and Phil's Pod Crash. Pod Crash. 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 Yeah. Well, we'll go with that now. Let's do with that now and Pod Crash. Mm. So, um, yeah. I mean, most people tend to start a podcast with a name and a few ideas, but we've gone, we've gone from, I, I like to call it from the ground up. We know we just need to actually act find some content first, so that actually wastes a few 20 minutes. You need to go out there. Go out there and find the name. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the podcast sorted. Pod Podcrash. Welcome Pod to Podcrash. Crash. Podcrash. Anything could happen here. If you have a um, a theme tune for us, or you want to make one... Yeah. Send, send it, it in, in. Yeah. And, and if you're the only one that's the one we'll use yeah send it in make whatever you want to do send it in and we will decide what we're going to use it's got to be royalty free why? Well, because you want to make some cash out of this yeah that's true so yeah if anyone out there has got any skill I don't care how bad it is I don't care how you know on the cuff it's made if you send us in an intro like what's your favourite intro? <laughs> no, from from a TV show. What's your favorite intro? France. France is a good intro. How does it go? <laughs> you do it. You know it. <laughs> so life is done. No, I don't know. What? I think it's gonna be this way. Da, 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 yeah. da, da. So like, I don't know how that lines up to podcast. I don't know. Just just make us anything on and a synthesis. I prefer yeah. some synthesizer. Just, just anything. Just send it in. So at Kellum Skinner. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, no. Um, yeah, my, my DMs on Twitter are open, so my DMs on Twitter are open. Okay, as well. direct message either one of us, and uh, we'll provide you with a unique, e uh, a special, uh, an actual email address, an actual email address, which you can send it to, and we'll uh, give you a shout out. In the what's, next your, what's your Twitter account? At Callum Skinner. Mine is at Philip underscore Heinz. Uh, double L on Callum. Just sing everything. I mean, to be honest, everything's open. If you go on my website, you can get my email address. If you go on my Instagram... You will find us. You open. will find us. If you put it out there, we will find you. Yes. So, yeah, we need an intro. And that will feature in the next episode. Yeah. We didn't plan that, but I think that's a good addition. I think that will be a very good addition because mm. we need something. We do. We do. Um, so now we're going to get on to the, the bones and the meat... Talk to me. And the uh, the uh, the main bit of the podcast, as in, Phil, what have you done with your life since you ended the vlogs? Because you did some terrible, terrible vlogs at Commonwealth Games. I was forcing it, I have to be honest with you. Um, what have I done with my life? Um, so what was different about those vlogs at Commonwealth Games? I think we were missing the people, to be honest with you. It's really hard to make. To be totally honest with you, I was. Um, I've been switching from my man one position to man two. So I mean, that's not what I asked you. Basically, what so I was trying to allude at let, was. Let me let me talk. Okay, sorry. So, training 
for me has been a lot harder because it's longer efforts mm. more volume on the track um and i've been <laughs> very tired it's been taking a lot of energy out of me so my vlogs haven't been there um haven't done any and uh and have to say the people have been very nervous in front of the camera they weren't playing to it and no. it was really hard to it's really hard to do vlogs with people so they weren't naturals is what you're trying to say yes so what i'm trying to say is is who was the person that was missing who was the person that made the vlogs but wasn't there i think it was at clancy no, he no, was he's, main he's hard, been hardly any vlogs it was me at clancy steven burke Next to that, Steven Steven's Burke has been, been in been like missing. 20 seconds of total vlogs that you've ever done. Basically, you were... Owen, Owen Du has been missing as well. You were in Team England, okay, which didn't feature me because I'm in Team Scotland. So you're pretty much trying to tell me that you were missing. <laughs> yeah, because I made some excellent vlogs with Jack Carlin and Mark Stewart. Yeah. Shout out to my vlogs. Yeah. What was your, what was your vlogging channel? Um... I don't know, I'm not very good at this. At Callum Skinner on YouTube. Anyways, um just Google Callum Skinner vlogs on you yeah. like the first one. To be fair, you have been missing and um you know, you've you've retired recently. I have retired, but I mean that's jumping the gun a little bit because we need to talk about Commonwealth Games first. How was Commonwealth Games for you? Alright. <laughs> um Commonwealth Games ha games have been good. Um well, we came second in the team sprint. Uh behind the Kiwi team. Um Yeah. They were they world champions at the time. They were world champions at the time. They were absolutely flying at the coming games as well. Um, and then my individual events haven't been going well because my back back I had a few back issues at the Commonwealth Games, and um, you know I pushed myself through the team sprint trying to hold my back together. But then uh, in the individual events, it's just been you know not great. But I pushed through it. And, you know, save a medal. It's, it's like, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a tricky thing with the Commonwealth Games because the Kiwis and the Aussies are always absolutely flying. And, like, I remember we were in Glasgow. Do you remember Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games? I remember it well, yeah. And we were sitting there watching the 200 metre times and we were like, Glasgow's a slow track. Glasgow, I mean, like, I've done 9-9 nine, nine or something. Maybe it's a 10 -0. What did you, I don't know. What did you do? I think I did 10-1 and that was the fastest <laughs> of us guys. So okay. you must going slower. So I think I did 10-2, 10-3 10 <laughs> or something like that. And it was like, nothing to worry about. Glasgow is a slow track. And then Matt Glazer popped up and he did, was it 9-8 or something? Yeah, something like that, yeah. It's something outrageous. And at that point I realised, maybe it's a fast track. <laughs> and we are just going slow. And we're just going slow. Yeah. So we got our heads kicked in and Jason Kenny managed to save the day a little bit. On behalf of Team England, but um, yeah, they're always flying. It's a tricky, it's a tricky yeah. event. But I think back then, we weren't really. Well, I wasn't up there with the big gears like how we ride to these days. Like I was, I was riding on a hundred and four inch gear, which now is very small for a two hundred meter of qualifying. What would you qualify on these days? Anything over one hundred and twenty inches. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite a big, big gap. Yeah, I mean that's like a. 15%, 20%, no, 15% no, increase. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. <laughs> 110 to 120? No, less than that. It's actually Don't not know. that much bigger. It's quite, the feet's a lot bigger. Yeah, it looks a lot, it looks a lot, it's quite deceptive because it looks a lot slower. Yeah. Because you're only pedaling yeah. very slowly. But anyway, so, Commonwealth Games, beautiful country, beautiful. Beautiful, had a lovely holiday afterwards. You did. Kian and, and I uh, had a lovely holiday as well. You did, yeah. Byron Bay. We went to Byron Bay. We had a, a small offloader. We went offloading. I saw the videos. <laughs> yeah, I saw the videos. Still had the drone back then. And uh, Byron Bay is lovely. Yeah, me and Claire went there. Did you? And uh, Claire is Phil's girlfriend. And we, we didn't enjoy this much. Why? I was a bit overrated, I have to say. So you didn't like Byron Bay? I didn't like Byron Bay. I have to be sorry, actually. Um, The video cut out. Well, we'll... we'll Edit that. We edit that, yeah. It would be fun. Would I be went fun. to Byron Bay and there's a lot of jelly. F I think they were like uh, blue mambas or blue. The blue something. Storm blue jellyfish. Some kind of jellyfish. <laughs> Never heard of that. You mean, um, what are they called? The tiny jellyfish that's really yeah. poisonous. Um, uh, what's it called? Yeah, well, they were there. Yeah, <laughs> they were there. They got wrapped down in some people's arms and it was. I think you die if you get wrapped around by them. Really? 
I think they're like tiny jellyfish. What they're called again? Um, anyway, anyway. So we we finished Commonwealth Games. Had a lovely camp in Valencia, and then and then you went start the World Cup yeah, season. I think you're jumping with the head. How was how have you Commonwealth Games been? Because that was your last competition. It was my of last your career. Today it was my last today uh, year yeah. anniversary. Uh, I got a Commonwealth Games medal first of my career after being to three Commonwealth Games. You mean you three? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I went to Delhi. Oh yeah. Come, I didn't. I wasn't on the squad then, was I? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You were still a, a little kinder. Yeah. Um, yeah, so my first Commonwealth Games medal in the kilo. Scraped it in, got a third. Um, How did it feel? Felt okay. Good. Um, didn't do very well in the kilo, and didn't do very well in the sprint, but then, uh, you know, finished it off with the uh, a medal in the kilo. Fair play. Thanks. Fair play. What medals did you get? The silver in the team sprint? Just the silver in the team sprint, yeah. What about the other events? What happened there? Like I said before, Callum, if you weren't listening... Um, <laughs> My back's been terrible. Oh, yeah, your back. Yeah, My yeah, back yeah. has been terrible. <laughs> the old glass back. <laughs> well, what were you doing when I said it? I don't know. Probably not listening. Yeah, um, yeah back's been terrible. Okay, so let's jump on to the next day. What, what's happened since then? What happened since then? Um, I've been... Went back to training. We had a very early European Championships, so we didn't have much time in between the Commonwealth Games and the European Championships to train, really. Where were they, you? In Glasgow. Yeah, I wasn't there. You should have known, really. <laughs> Glasgow. Was it um, Berlin the year before? Berlin the year before. Yeah, so that was definitely my last competition. Um, there's, that's when we found Callum's modelling photos. Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> we found the modelling photos. I put it on my YouTube channel, hmm. put it on Instagram. I remember the next day we went for breakfast or dinner. All the nations were pretty much laughing at Callum. I didn't feel they were, that at the they time. were smiling at Callum I thought they were because sm- they've all seen the modeling photos. <laughs> I thought they were smiles. You should see them. They're, I thought, they're brilliant. I thought they were smiles of approval. <laughs> Did you like think that? Nice. Nice. <laughs> Did you think that? <laughs> well, I mean, like, you know, a few guys said, you know, fair enough, mate. You got the opportunity. You grabbed it with both hands. <laughs> Whereas well, you, <laughs> too busy being like, oh, trying something new. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're just not used to change, mate. I've got, <laughs> I've got many, I've got many strings to my bow. <laughs> if I had a body like you, Callum, <laughs> I'd be, I'd be modelling as well. <laughs> How's the pouch, mate? The pouch is good. At least I'm not modelling. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying anyway. it off. Okay, so anyway, anyway let's okay. swiftly move on. Uh, we had the Commonwealth Games, and then you went to, you started the World Cup season, but without me. Without you, yeah. How did you um, fill that gap in your life? We found Jason Kenny as a man three. That happened pretty quickly. But that Joe happened. was doing a bit of man three as well. Joe was doing a bit of man three. To be fair, no, no. You did um, you did Canada World Cup and became se- was a second. Did I do that? You did, ca- yeah. Can- <laughs> so you tweeted today. What no, no, I'm sure uh, Commonwealth Games was my last race. No, no, you did Canada World Cup. You no, don't no, remember? No, 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 no. You did? No, because that was January in the second year. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So many races. Um, what are you doing? Having a cream egg. Um, Not mini eggs, sorry. Yeah, then we had a World Cup season, and this World Cup season has been pretty terrible for me. I've just been going like two, three times slower in my in my races than I've gone the previous year, and um, it just didn't work out for me this year. So tell us what you've been doing. You've been switching from... Phil Hines, everyone knows Phil Hines, man one. Probably the fastest man one in the world. And you thought, to hell with history, I'm going to do something new. Yeah, I've been getting pretty... So I've been doing man one for quite a long time now. And I've been getting quite bored. Like, like it sounds stupid, but... If you've been doing the same thing for so many years, you get you get quite frustrated and... You know, it's no, it's no challenge in life. It sounds stupid, but... You want to try something new? So I, I said to myself, whatever happens, I want to try and make it a man two or three, whatever whatever gets, but I'm 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 done with man one mentally. And So um, you never go back to man one? Probably not, no. Because I, I mentally I just I was done with it. I just wanted to try a new challenge, try and succeed in this and if if it, if I don't make it, I don't make it, but at least I gave him my all in this new challenge. So I wanted to 
you know, I just want to try my best and make the Olympic Games. Games okay, in this so new position. Yeah, but you're thinking Tokyo 2020, you won't be man one. No. As a cast iron guarantee? I think so, yeah. You think so? Unless, you know, circumstances put me in man one, but... Okay, so we're running through the GB team at the moment. We've got Lion Owens in man one. Yes. With no competition. Pretty much. Not for, for now, position. yeah. Man two, we've got Jack Carlin and you. Yes. Man three, we've got Joe Truman and Jason Kenny. And me. Man three as well. I want to try man three, yeah. Any position, really. That's your new thing? Yeah. No, man no, two, no. man three. I don't think I need much different training to be able to su succeed in it, so... If you want any tips, you know where to come. Yeah, we'll ask my coach for it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, and, and then I also retired since the vlogs. You ended. did retire, yeah? Yeah. So, at least a lovely statement. What, um, so what was the reason for you retiring? What, what, what was, it's what a happened? Bit like, it's a bit like what you said. So, um, you know, if, if you're on the load, you can go, you know, if, if you're getting a bit bored or you're getting a bit, you know, you want a new challenge. You can change teams. You can do something else. Uh, you can change disciplines. But for me, I was always going to be a man three. I was never going to be a man two. And in the words of my coaches, I was never ever going to be a man one. Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It, <laughs> it is. True. It is true. Yeah, because it's not in my physiology. So um, yeah. So basically, I had an incredible Leo Games, and it was tough to get there. I was dropped quite a few times. Yeah, yeah. But we made it work. Uh, yeah, we did make it work, yeah. And uh, so I, basically I kind of thought, well, I got the Olympic gold, got the Olympic silver and the Olympic record. It's time to... You struggled a bit with motivation and mental health issues, didn't you? I did, yeah. Yeah, a little so. bit. So, but I'll talk about that in a later episode. Okay. We'll leave it for <laughs> then, yeah. Um, but yeah, more, I think like from other points as well, it was more just kind of like motivation, I think, and and the physiology of it. It's like it wasn't going to stack up. Yeah, and the, yeah, to be fair, the young guys that are coming through are pretty, pretty sharp, pretty strong as well. So um, that just shows like the development side of British cycling. It does in general, like the like they start young these days, and they start young with the right training. But we've had some big news in British cycling. Did we? Yeah. So you've got a new coach. I've got a new coach. Yeah, our. Um, Sprint team changed a bit, so Kevin Stewart now is my new coach. So he used to be academy, and now he's the podium men's coach. Yes, yes. Um, now after World Championships, um, I went terribly. I have to admit. Um, no, I think that's fully down to a long season, and mentally, I just wasn't wasn't ready. I think it's been such a long season mentally. It's been such a hard World Cup season because it's been Olympic qualification and. Um, you know, we had to perform pretty much in every World Cup, hmm. and uh, you know, then then drag it out that long. I think it's been pretty tough. It was a long season, and I, I fully lost uh, the World Championships, and uh, yeah, I was ready for a break. <laughs> I remember seeing you in the bar <laughs> after you'd finished racing. Yes, yes, uh, on the night of racing, met Callum in the no, bar. No, not the night of racing, the night after racing. The night after racing? Yeah, the no, the night of. Yeah, the night. Of yeah, the racing. night of racing. It kind of makes it sound. Don't like you correct me again? <laughs> but it kind of makes it sound like you were drinking the night before you were going to race. I wasn't drinking the night before. The after racing, I think I needed a change. I just needed to listen to my body, what I wanted to do, what I, and I, I know what I need to do. And um, yeah, I think I've got a pretty good plan put together that now, and uh, hopefully next season will be better. Yeah, so in summary, Jan van Aydin is now coaching the sprint women. Yes, yeah. Kevin Stewart is now coaching the podium men. And Justin Glace is now looking over all the programs and also developing the academy leaders. Yeah, and it's projects as well leading up to 2028. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's good to invest in the in the guys coming through. Yeah, and he's got loads of experience, so I think it will be pretty good for the job. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, as he as he said at the time, he was the uh, coach of all three. He was the coach at one time of all three teams in that on that team sprint podium at Rio. Yeah, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, um, but you know, I think uh, Kev coached a lot of those boys when he was younger as well. So they're gonna they're gonna be able to jump on that pretty good. Yeah, uh, I've, I've not been coached by him, so um, it'll be interesting to see 
how it's gonna work. Mm. You know, I've, I've only ever been with like two or three other coaches, so um, mm. it, isn't, it doesn't happen often that you change a coach. Like like in football, mm. we change manager quite often. If you don't perform well, you then you know, they just kick out the manager. So but what, um, so what's the predictions for twenty twenty? Is it gonna happen again? Is it all just gonna go swimmingly? Well, I hope so. I hope I make the team first. Um, <laughs> I think you just for me, it's just try and make the team, and then you know the magic happens when you get to the race, and uh, you know the adrenaline kicks in, and you, like in the whole build up. Yeah, you know what it's like. You just the whole team comes together, and and you know, suddenly you go outrageously well in at the <laughs> Olympics. Because I guess. Uh, there was some talk after the World Championships of people saying that maybe we wouldn't win as many medals as at Tokyo as we did at Rio, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think... I don't know. We just, I think... Which I've been, in, the situ- what I've done, been we, in this situation yeah. twice now. And you remember how it was before Rio? We were like coming fifth, sixth. Man three, we were struggling in front of man three. And, and I personally thought like... That's it. We're not gonna win it. I'm not gonna get another gold medal. Yeah. But then, the the two months before, we start seeing the improvements. You started improving. You started getting on, and then Newport, the holding camp, which was like two weeks before, we did like a dress rehearsal. Um, did a full team sprint, and Callum got on. Callum did outrageously fast times, and and you remember when I said that the the three days before Rio Olympics, I thought I think we could win it. I mean, coincidentally, I think Chris Hoy said that just before you said it. You did say that, but then, but then, <laughs> so but, was it? but literally, no, he didn't say that. They said it in London. No, no, he came. He said it in Rio as well. Did he? he? Remember, he came in the village. I can't. Honestly, I can't he remember the He came in the, the village and he said, "You know what? You're going to do it again." I said that before him. Did you? I did, hundred percent. And then, okay, um, well, we can talk about that with him next time and, we see him. Uh, yeah, I thought we could win it, or at least win a medal. Yeah. So I guess it's uh, it's that classic thing of don't light off the team until you see how they get there. Yeah, just anything can happen on the day. So, I mean, I thought we were going to be pitching for like a, a bronze medal, maybe. Yeah, same, same. I would have been happy just make the bronze medal final, but we're going pretty well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you're, you're going to be still targeting the sprint for next year. Yeah, in the winter events, man two or man three, and then. You know, I try my best, see what happens. Have a few more apple juices. Apple juices. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so, yeah, uh, still in the time thing. I'm keeping busy. Yeah, what, what what are you doing at the moment? What, what's what's going on in your life? I can't, I can't tell you too much about what's going on. Why not? Because I need to announce it and make, and make the most of it when I do announce it. Oh. I've been keeping busy, so I've done a lot of stuff with anti-doping. So I've been to the White House. I saw you being... Very active on Twitter. I've been very active on Twitter. I've been on Newsnight, Radio 4. BBC. They're both BBC. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> um, um, yeah. yeah, so I've been out there trying to like um, you know make the most of this message, trying to make it a bit more communicable, I guess. Because it's not the most exciting message in the world. Anti-doping. Yeah. I mean, you know, most people. I, I don't blame people for switching off. It's not that interesting. Um, so I've been trying to make the most of it. Um, I started work in a company I can't say yet, so don't why say can, Why can't you say who you're working for? Because we're going to make an announcement of it. But you've been working for them for quite a few months now. Since January, yeah. So you're not, you're not allowed to say yet? No. But it's a good company. You'd I mean, agree it's a good... I think the product... No, I, maybe I can't say. <laughs> you can't can say? say. No, you can't, can't say. say. <laughs> okay. No, because we're making an announcement of it. Okay, I can't say. I mean, you don't know what it is anyway, so... Do I? Okay. I d- I d- honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's a few other things in the pipeline. So, like, 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 give us a hint. People want to know. Well, I mean, you know, people will find out all in due course. You know, I can't, I can't give them everything at once. I've just announced I'm starting a new podcast called um, Pod Crash. Pod Crash, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. I'm Thank happy you. for you, yeah. Thank you. What did you think when you saw my retirement statement? Because I'd actually been retired for quite some time before that statement came out. Yeah. To be honest, 
And that's, uh, I, knew, I knew way before like Callum's not going to come back to cycling, but um, when I read the when I read the statement, you know, we came back on, we w- went on the academy program together, and we've been spending a lot of time together. And I was I was quite sad to honest when you re- when you retired. Yeah. When I saw the statement, I was quite I was quite sad because like an end of an era, but. I mean, you seem to have lost a teammate every Olympic Games, pretty much. You lost Chris in 2012. You lost me after 2016. I know who's going to be next. I mean, you're going to be still doing this till you're 45, so... (laughs) It might be me next. (laughs) (laughs) It might be you. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, like, the the game's game's changing. Like, the age age of how long you can be a professional sprinter for, an elite sprinter for, is getting lower and lower. What age will be at the Tokyo Olympics? 20, 28, 27. Well, 27, 28. 27, 28, yeah. yeah. It's still quite young, but because I started so young, because I've been doing But so the guys so are getting younger as well. I think yeah, the days yeah. of being able to retire at like 38. It's just over, yeah. It's kind of over, yeah. Yeah. Like some of the best guys in the world are under 23s now. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true, yeah. So what can you do? Well, it's nice. it's nice to know that my statement made you sad. Yeah, it didn't make me sad. Yeah, I mean, I'm available to come in any time and help you guys out. I think we would be all, f- all right to be totally honest. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, yeah. Do you not want my like man three tips? Go on, give me one tip. Well, I mean, you want to concentrate on your own ride. So just what? That's a terrible. You've got to work pretty hard. I'm not sure you're ready for this. Actually, man three it requires a lot of like lactic and endurance training. I think it's just about getting on to it and then sitting in. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. I've done a few man, th- man threes, to be fair. I tell you what, there's no man three in the world that has an e-bike. What's wrong with an e-bike? I enjoy it. Yeah, but you should be able to have the endurance and the and the grit. But when I want to go mountain biking up the hills with like Ed Clancy and all the other endurance boys, you know, it's a bit too much for me. I, I won't mean, be able to keep up with Look at them. the Dutch, look at the French, they could keep up. Yeah, but I don't think they could keep up with like top continental riders. Ed Mountain Clancy biking. hates the hills. But he's still pretty good. Oh, okay. I'll let you off. Um, so, yeah. And we're kind of... I mean, could you turn your phone off for the podcast? I'm so sorry. Jeez. Anyway, so we're coming close to the end of the podcast. Um, so, as I say, next week, we're hopefully going to try and get on a guest. It yeah, could be It could be Chris Hoy. could be Ed Clancy. could be anyone. could be Alice Barnes. could be Ollie Wood. Could be anyone. Could be Joe Clark. MBE. Could be anyone. Joe Clark, he's, you know, I've heard some great stories about him. What have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> Not many that I can repeat without his permission. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. But in the meantime, basically, we're um, we're happy to, you know, if you want to send us anything, we will guarantee, we guarantee we'll feature it in the next podcast. Yeah. Feature in the next so it'll be on this desk right here. If you send anything in, anything, just anything, anything, um, send it in to Philip Hines, MBE, <laughs> British Cycling, Stuart Street, Manchester, M11, 4DQ, United Kingdom. And uh, Phil will get it, and I'm sure it'll be on the table next week. Yes, hopefully. Um you know, we need to find a guest first for next week. We've got a guest. We've got a guest. We will have a guest. We will have a guest.